When you think of a paradise for snakes, Europe may not be the first place that comes to mind. Although snake diversity is low compared to other continents, some European species are truly beautiful. In 2023, our friend David from the USA came to visit us hoping to see some of the most amazing snakes of Europe. We planned a trip to Croatia and our main target species was the nose horned viper. It is a special snake for me and Susanna. We made it an integral part of our living zoology logo as it is the first venomous snake species we found together in the wild. Obviously, we have seen nose horned vipers before, but the pressure is on, as our friend came all the way from North America to see this particular snake. Our epic European adventure starts now, and we can't wait to explore the Croatian wilderness during the spring, the best time for snake activity. Join us on the trail of a snake. We didn't want to film too much around those uh, police people because they were quite stressed uh, because of the GoPro but uh, here is the damage which we have on the car it's not terrible uh, but it's also not uh, invisible you know. so we finally arrived to Kirk Island after about seven hours of driving and uh, now we are going to our com accommodation and we will just uh, put our things there our luggage and food and everything and if we will have time we will still try to visit uh, one location for road cruising and from now our trip really starts what do you think david are you excited i'm so excited to be in croatia to hopefully find some snakes while we're here <laughs> wow we are here we just Finally. arrived to our accommodation it looks absolutely stunning, beautiful place. The habitat for snakes is just around everywhere where you look, stone walls, nice forest. You can hear the sounds of uh, birds, nightingale is singing nicely. So uh, this is really cool, we are happy to be here. And it's, it's already quite cold for snakes, uh, especially in the shade. So um, we think we'll probably start uh, looking tomorrow. Uh, the main target for this trip, of course, is this snake, the nose horned viper. What is this? So this is oh, oh, it's wooden. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> that's amazing. Wow, thank you so I much, David. That's you can, yeah. So let's try with our business card. <gasps> Does it work? Does it fit? Ooh, wow. It fits, it fits perfectly. perfectly. The living yeah. zoology is still uh -huh. visible. And the rattlesnake is sticking out. The head out, that's yes. cool. <laughs> Good morning. It's time to go to find some snakes. Our whole team is ready. We actually have here uh, not only David from the USA, but a few friends, uh, young uh, enthusiasts for animals and especially reptiles and amphibians. So uh, we are just going to go into our cars and drive to the first location. Let's go. Nothing. You can. I can record yeah. this. Is everyone ready? Uh, we, are ready. we are born ready. <laughs> okay. It's perfect uh, weather today. Nice and sunny. We will do different things. We will try to flip some stones. Uh, for some species we need to be very fast. They might be basking now. So we will combine different techniques. Let's start with this rock. Nothing. A surprise. Usually when we film and we flip we don't see anything and then when we stop the camera then we find stuff so let's see how it will be today. 
everything is flowering and you can see fresh green leaves everywhere around that's because it's spring here uh, that's the best time for searching for snakes because they're active after after the long winter we have first snake Ooh, nice four line snake i just saw saw some scales in the rocks in the bushes snake was just basking now Quite dark individual, but uh, nice size already. What do you think, David? Yeah. Oh, fantastic! Good snake for good the start. Nice so this snake. is one of the biggest snakes in Europe, one of the heaviest snakes in Europe. Really beautiful species. They're so calm. It's like really amazing. Wow. Yeah, it's it's one of my favorite species here in Balkan Peninsula. Perfect, it's fine. Yeah, they're very calm. You can you can handle them nicely. Take one with me, so I don't. I never saw one trying to Good bite. Mm-hmm. Nice. My tail is a snake magnet. <laughs> snake charmer. <coughs> yes, he is. <coughs> This is a beautiful snake. I just it didn't is. know if I'd be able to see one of these. The four line? <laughs> four line snake, yes. Yeah. And you are. So basically wow. basically it was it was here in those in those rocks, in mm -hmm. the middle of I'm those bushes. Cool. Tell, tell me how you cool. like I'm looking into spots snagged. where snakes yeah, but are. Yeah, you just you snagged know. them, you didn't run. I, no, uh, I saw the snake, so I put down, I saw what species it is, so uh -huh. I put down my camera, I put down my tongs, <laughs> and then I went into the bushes and grabbed the snake. And he yeah. just waited for it? Uh, I was trying to be but, but, so secretive that he didn't see me. All right, but he, you went slowly. Yes, and he didn't that's move. what I do. You grabbed him before he moved? Yeah. Okay. This is like an just indigo snake. To move it's just, a bit, yeah. It's like an indigo because it's just yeah, it's calm, big, it's calm, it's big, it's magnificent. It doesn't bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This <laughs> no, is this is really this awesome. Is really an awesome, awesome species. Snake. Okay. Okay. European glass lizards. I want to have a thousand photos pussy. with him because uh, that was my target species actually. Wow, cool. The first day and so, the target species yeah. completed. <laughs> so you can go home now. I'll take yeah, yeah, I can go yeah. home now, yeah. Have a nice dinner and come right I'll take picture. I will send everything to you. Oh, oh, I'm, oh yeah, I can. Oh, you can. You can. Your... Settle awesome. down, settle down. Shelto Pusik. Legolas Lizard. Okay. <laughs> Did you see him? Just... No, I almost stepped on him. It was... Really? Yeah. <laughs> they are like They're not that. so clever. Yeah. Yeah, Me but neither, he, so I but he was between rocks, or it was just basking in the just vegetation. lying, just lying and there, stretched out. Yes, yeah. and they're usually some, just lying. Yeah, yeah, they are like that all the time. They like. I just walked around, so I came here, and then I saw the head sticking here. Oh, Ooh. the head was sticking there. Yeah, just in in those rocks, and the snake is absolutely cold. It's really cold when you touch it, so it still didn't bask. All the way over to here. Oh yeah, it's it very cold. Went from the forest, <laughs> like almost freezing. And it went up <laughs> here to to bask on these yeah. rocks. So this is a great place even for the nose horn vipers. We should like check these kind of areas which are close to dense vegetation. That's okay. from where the snakes go, you know, outside right. to bask. Another four line snakes found by Maciej. A little bit longer, I think. Mm -hmm. Not so heavy. Yeah, right. more more slim. It's also very dark. And it's also quite dark. <laughs> Pretty cold. Yeah, very cold. It's like <laughs> really interesting. So we were just walking oh. around these rocks, and I just put this beautiful snake basking on the wow, rock. Wow, that's cool. And it's one of our target species. Wow, we expected. Uh... Did you found some uh, grass snake or something like that, but this is much better. Yeah, I also Perfect. didn't expect this species here. It was near yeah. the water. It's very yeah, near every habitat. snake, like the water, I think, and those rocks are amazing here. So, yeah, so nice, perfect. <laughs> Our target species. Yes. Juvenile, <laughs> quadrivalent. We have your target species. Really? Yeah. Uh huh. That's awesome. It is. Wow. <laughs> awesome. That's perfect. Wow. This is awesome. Juvenile four line snake. This was one of the biggest targets for me on this trip actually. 
juvenile and adult. The coloration is different as you can see. Wow, this is cool. Where was it? Just basking on the rock. It was, was basking just... close to the water? Yeah, it was very close to the water. I was just uh -huh. walking around the water and That's I just saw it basking on the rock. That's awesome. Yeah, this yeah. guy is cute as it's a button. It's beautiful. Cute as what? A button. Ah, okay. A button. Uh, but I don't have a button. No, it's a button. <laughs> there. A snap. Oh, <laughs> cute as a snap. <laughs> mm, interesting. Oh yeah, look. That's nice. He's calm now with you. He looks like a baby rat snake. A little bit, right? From the US. Uh -huh. Yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. So here we have a fourth four lined snake for the day. Third adult I found. And it was nicely coiled down here in the bush. And it's a lighter individual. Quite energetic already. Already basked a little bit, I guess. Oh. Michael found this little grass snake oh, nice. with a beautiful coloration on the collar. Mm. Nice. Perfect. Yeah, we found another big four-line snake. Another big four-line. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Wow. It's lighter, so we can show it to you. Let me go straight in. So was it in the water or outside? He said it went into the water. And disappeared. Oh yeah, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like he lives here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> looks like that. Nice neck. So we got two Stress species of snake cost. Oh. Alright. So come here. I don't want to let it get away. What was it? Wait for okay. Like Probably Balkan with snake, right? Still so wait? We don't know what time. Put paper me. Okay. Oh, oh, what is it? It's a... Ah. Wow. Maybe another part. Uh, it's line. much cooler. Yeah. Good spotting. It's more like... Nice. nice. Nicely done. Pink. Okay, sure. Today more is really a on day it. of four lines. Nice. Good Girl, job. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. Good job. Cool. I talked to Liza. <laughs> cool. <laughs> it was worth it. Yeah. The running. Good job. That's a beautiful individual. <laughs> this one is really beautiful. Nice. Awesome. I'll show you my wood. I look like it's protected. Yeah. When we don't find snakes, we appreciate flowers. And these orchids are really spectacular. Yeah. This is really cool. Beautiful one. Hold still. Quickly, quickly. She wants to run. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she looked like a runner to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so pretty. This is really nice. David is really herping hard. Onward. <laughs> Onward to the snakes. If I could just get the engine started. <laughs> nice, buddy. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Okay, nice. So you see, you need three guys to catch this oh, wow. this snake. Yeah. Wow. I saw it and then we were running around this bush. Beautiful green whip nice. snake. West Subspecies whip with snake. black coloration. Okay. Awesome. That is found in some specific habitats. Yeah. Awesome. Found by Mate and caught by me. Yeah. Perfect. Good job, guys. Good job. With the help of Michael. Cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I... Oh. Oh wow, you we were risking here. your life for yeah, a snake. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. A little black drama snake. Me also. Yeah, oh, exactly. you also? <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's not even hot and this snake was just making fun of us. Yeah. Luckily there was no hole where he can One quick ah, take, cool. where he can uh, hide. Yeah. Good job, guys. Nice. Good. Be careful, it's bitey. Yeah, yeah, these guys are bitey, bitey. bitey. But uh, you are so calm. Black racer, David. Calm handler equals calm snake. That's what's happening right now. So that Situla here on the road. That leopard wow. snake. Wonderful coloration. But, yeah, but it's really. it's maybe from today, but it's not like super, yeah, super mm -hmm. fresh. You can it see looks. that the ends are already yeah. here, so yes, it's maybe eyes, today. Eyes are already sucked I'm also. So but excited, I saw it. I like, oh yeah, we didn't spot, see it and we are covering really this place really mm -hmm. properly. Yeah. One person walking, two cars road cruising. 
Mm, but they are here and they are uh, active probably. Yeah. Ah, what just snake. happened? Look at it, look at it. This is an wow. leopard snake. Yes, wow. and it's like 16 we degrees. Have a this snake. is amazing. Finally, I know We are one. waiting, wow. David. We are not going anywhere, I'm trust me. It's amazing. <gasps> careful, careful, it's bitey. Oh, I don't nice. care. Nice. Oh, we man. caught a wonderful. What a find. This is an adult, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> oh. It's beautiful, it's amazing. The Indeed, color. a leopard. Uh, Amazing! Uh, oh, oh yeah, she's biting a GoPro. Don't let her bite the GoPro, it can damage you. Nice. What do you think, David? Oh, this is fantastic. Uh, adult leopard snake. For the first time in our lives, we have our friend David from the USA here with us. This is absolutely stunning. Just a stunning This is one of the rare snakes of Europe. And it's for the first time in our lives to see an adult. We already saw a uh, juvenile two times, Holy but this is, this is a dream come true. This is Indeed. absolutely amazing. It sh it's shaking, it's shaking yeah. the tail, it which is a defensive really? me mechanism. Yes, that's amazing. Oh, check how, how wow. red is it is. She explained everything. Wow. <laughs> this is this amazing. Is so amazing. I have nothing to say. Wow. This is so... Fantastic. Really cool day in Croatia. Wow. Perfect. <laughs> wow. No, it's a cat snake. It's, it's a, cat a cat snake. Cat snake. No way. Wow. <laughs> 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 so, second snake for this road cruising. And it's a beautiful adult cat snake. Wow, 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 wow. Look at that. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are quite lucky today. What do you think, David? Well, that's what we were looking for. Really? Yeah. So, so we were successful today. I think it's a good day. <laughs> it's a good day. Every day is a different day. And this um, was a good day. Yeah, much better than the first day with the car accident. That was yesterday. Oh, no? watch out. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that bitey. was yesterday. Bitey, bitey. Bitey, bitey. Wow. This is quite awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Good that we did this last lap. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we do the last lap. Yeah. Right? We were like, okay, let's do one more. So this is the snake we wanted. It's 14 degrees Celsius and it's out on the road. The road is cold. The snake is cold, but it's moving around just fine. <laughs> and we find the snake we needed for this to end this beautiful day. Yeah. In this nice evening with this energetic cat snake. Exactly. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Our first full day in Croatia was amazing. Let's take a closer look at four of the five snake species we have so far. The four-lined snake is one of the largest snakes of Europe. It prefers a combination of woodlands and stone walls. Despite their size, four-lined snakes are excellent climbers. They hunt mostly small mammals and birds. This species goes through an amazing color change, from the juvenile coloration with dark blotches to four lines in adulthood. The various individuals we found had slightly different coloration. The Western Whip Snake lives mostly in Western Europe. Croatia is the only country on the Balkan Peninsula where you can find it. Snakes from this region are very dark, often almost black. The Western Whip Snake is very fast and it actively hunts small vertebrates during the day. It is one of the most common snakes on Kirk Island. The rarest finding of the day was the leopard snake. Many people consider it the most beautiful snake of Europe. It is very tricky to find the species as it is secretive and uncommon due to habitat alteration and collecting for illegal pet trade. Leopard snakes prefer Mediterranean type shrubby vegetation and rocky areas. It took us six years of traveling to the Balkan Peninsula to finally find an adult individual. 
A good time to search is just before dusk, when leopard snakes are often active. The European cat snake is a nocturnal colubrid with rare fangs. It is not considered dangerous to people and it uses its venom to subdue mostly geckos and other lizards. European cat snakes love rocky areas and stone walls. During the day they hide among rocks and become active at dusk. On the Balkan Peninsula they can be found mostly relatively close to the coast. The main target of the trip, the nose horned viper, was not among the five species found so far. We will try to search for it again tomorrow. Second day and we are going to visit a new location and uh, we have new uh, participants of this trip, more young enthusiasts for nature uh, not only reptiles but also birds and uh, the target is still the same so I'm coming we have a very, very, very special Esculapian wow, snake. Wow, it's a very dark Esculapian yeah. snake. Check, check the head. I've <gasps> never it's seen this kind gorgeous. of coloration. It's crazy. Yeah. It's absolutely spectacular with those wow. with those yellow patches. That's and crazy. And the dark so awesome. coloration. Wow. This it's is very strange a color. very, very special oh, Esculapian snake. Yeah, it was just chilling here in the grass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just saw the tail and then I saw the yeah, body. As we told you, this place is like full of snakes. It's really super are. cold. <laughs> yeah, it's, wow. It's also the awesome. head beautiful, beautiful. is absolutely <laughs> stunning. Oh wow, mm -hmm. that's, that's stunning. I almost forget that I want to see this so bad. Yeah. I really wanted to see some oh, melanistic right. zemanis. Old Long individual, zemanis, you can see the tail is missing. That's interesting. How far we from found a four lined snake here last year. Oh, still a good way. Still ways, good, yeah. but the tail would be yeah. longer. We found a four lined snake here last With missing year. Tail With missing also. tail Maybe also. Maybe there are cats <laughs> operating here. It's close Maybe. to the town. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Or some other predators. It's possible. Wow. Check it. We here. found the most spectacular Esculapian snake ever. Are you oh my! Me? Check the head with this Are yellow. You is it a melanic? Oh, it is. It but is. But like check like those yellow, stick yellow stick or patches on the head. Wow. Wow. It's That's wow. absolutely wow. stunning. Wow! This is the most beautiful snake wow. I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's amazing. This is wonderful. It is and rare. It's amazing. Yeah, it's so rare. I personally. Uh, haven't seen an uh, Esculapian snake like this. Maybe um, someone has a photo of a similar individual, but for me it's uh, really first time seeing an Esculapian snake of this coloration. It's also an old individual, the tail is missing and uh, it's healthy, healthy old snake living here in uh, Croatia and we are super happy that uh, we could find it really, really amazing. Good start of the day. They found that snake which was here before, but we were not able to catch it. David was scaring uh -huh. the snake from the other side and I was waiting here and he came like this and I was able to grab we him. Did I just it. need to be very careful. I spotted him like 20, 30 and minutes slow. ago, cool. huh? and so we came back slowly, slowly, mm. quietly, and I scared what him right this? into his. I yeah, it's, it's a huge. Snake. Oh, but it's huge. It's so only those big, horned yeah. vipers remain, yes. right? Yes. Oh, so yeah. now I have. Yeah, it's, it's a nice balkan nice. lip snake. Yeah, oh, it's wow, perfect! It's, wow, that's a huge one. I spotted a bald snake. Yes. Still trying. It's Can a I... new species, David. Oh, just slowly. For this trip. Come on. Yeah, he's going. What is it? <gasps> oh, oh yes. my! Wow! It's so much better. That's beautiful. a giant. It's perfect. It's perfect. Yes, David. Oh. Oh. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, David. Hey, you're welcome. Good cooperation. Ah, these guys are bitey. These guys are very bitey. Yeah, these guys are feisty. 
Maybe. Do you think he will let you go? Let it go or no? I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, 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 no. This way first. Yeah. <laughs> it's a battle scar. Oh, yay. It's not working. Mm -mm. There we go. She's getting upper yeah, jaw, yeah, yeah. upper jaw, upper yes. Jaw, and now. Want me to do the bottom jaw? Wait. Mm -mm. But maybe he will let you go if you just yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, he's yeah, letting go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> whip snakes are quite bitey. So, you need and to be careful that. with them. Can I get a hook? Yes. Because I don't like to hold snakes like this behind the head. Because, of course, it's stressful for them. You want a small one? Mm -hmm. You can use the long one and that's fine. Here, here, here. Oh yeah, that's perfect maybe the thing. perfect thing. So I'm just going to use the hook, which is better for the snake, mm. better for me. Mm -hmm. cool. Very nice, fat it's individual perfect. of Balkan whip snake. Really nice one. Quite chunky. Nice coloration, big head. Wow. <laughs> very, very nice and There's snake. blood all over the yeah. Buddy, it's your blood. Yeah, blood we'll need to yes, but he's been he's vaccinated, still. so he's, he's okay. He's yeah. vaccinated. <laughs> so, yeah, but of course, it doesn't hurt you. Snakes have very small, sharp teeth, so it's bleeding a lot when they bite you, but otherwise, there is nothing yeah. dangerous about it. This species is non venomous, so uh, I'm gonna be fine. Of course. Okay, so we got a shelter pussy here. It is also called a glass lizard. Uh, and unlike the other lizards, this uh, reptile is less likely to drop off its tail. But when it does, the tail can broke into small pieces, and that's why it is called a glass lizard. Yeah, as you can see, it has a pretty darker coloration than the others. And uh, yeah, it's it is a really nice adult specimen. <laughs> Here. They have like a remnants of uh, legs, very tiny, but you can see it here. Yeah. And the tail is very long. This is cloaca. Oh. And this is the tail. Oh, thirsty. So th these reptiles here um, on Kirk Island, they live very close to people. Sometimes we just see a car driving here and quite many people are walking on the paths here. And uh, yeah, reptiles can coexist with people if they have enough space and some nice habitat which is still available. And yeah, this is the case here in this location. It's a um, really nice forest with some open patches and during spring reptiles come to bask here. So uh, we can find them here and uh, <clears throat> see them from a close distance and uh, after we take photos and some videos, then uh, we release them. So after enjoying this beautiful reptile for a while, uh, boys are going to release it. It was here, so it can hide into the vegetation. Wow. When you... I think I, I can see the second one really? there. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the one which is here. And uh, here we have a oh bonus lizard, beautiful oh one, oh just oh there. Yeah. So the activity of reptiles is really high now. We are enjoying sightings of so many of them. It's really, really cool. So here we have a lizard and under this pile of branches there are two glass lizards. Small four line snake just <laughs> stretched <laughs> on the road. No probably way! Basking, right? Probably basking. Wow. Yeah. We were hoping for a nose horn viper in this uh, position, but oh. uh, still nice. Yeah. Third juvenile four line snake on this trip, yeah. which yeah, yeah. Uh, so far it's one and a half day. <laughs> mm. So yeah, in terms of finding this species, we are very successful. Mm 
<laughs> yeah, that's amazing. That's cool because this was one of our target species. And now we found the third one actually. Is it Yeah? Yes. We are out cruising during the day and we have something. Leopard snake. Ooh, baby leopard snake. Baby cool. leopard snake <laughs> on the old habitat. Nice. So the second leopard snake for the trip. Cool. Baby on the road. Wow, cool. Yeah, very nice. We'll see him. Yes, of course you can. Cutie. So show me. Show me this beauty. This is the baby. Oh, he wow. tried to give me a little nip. This is awesome. Yeah, sometimes we are too late and snakes are dying on the road. So this poor baby didn't survive. Somebody ran over it. Mm. Yeah, it's very fresh, so I will just put it in my legs. This is quite a busy road, um, especially during the weekend, which is right now. And also many snakes all live here in this area, but sometimes, unfortunately, uh, those snakes are not lucky to cross the road, sa road safely and they die. So it's late afternoon and uh, we are trying to get some footage of the leopard snake. Susanna is helping me because the snake is quite fast and it goes into holes uh, whenever there's a chance. Uh, so it's a little bit tricky, but we hope that as the sun will go down, uh, the temperature will drop and the snake will be calmer and a little bit slower. This is the area where we work, uh, rocks. It looks good. Uh, just, I really need Susanna to uh, take care of the snake in terms of like, you know, checking it, where it goes because uh, in any second it can just uh, suddenly go into a hole and uh, it tries to hide. It really has quite a lot of energy and as you can see like right now <laughs> there was a hole there and Susanna needs to take the snake. So uh, what we are trying to do is that uh, I'm ready with my tripod and uh, my camera and Susanna usually just uh, lets the snake slither and uh, we are leaving it for uh, moving as long as possible to get some natural footage Maybe but here. when it looks like we might lose the snake then Susanna comes uh, to uh, save the scene you know it's always really a huge pleasure to observe snakes in their natural habitat they look really amazing and uh, this is what we enjoy the most seeing the snake just uh, doing its own thing uh, in the nature and we are just observing trying to get footage sometimes photos if we have time and then we share it with people around the world snake Cat snake. Cat snake. Cool. Catch it, catch it. Again, okay. Another cat snake. <laughs> the Can second one for the trip. Nice. Midwife nice. animals. <laughs> yeah. oh. Another adult individual. Can you hold it? Yes. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> really beautiful. Okay. Amazing. Wow. That's cool. It has even more beautiful. Yeah. Uh, and it's a really the cold one. The eyes are beautiful. Oh. Cold one? <laughs> yeah, that's why it is cold. It's a really yeah. cold one. So it was coming from these <laughs> rocks down here. <laughs> and it has <laughs> huge eyes. I see. Uh -huh. Previous one. <laughs> wow, so it's the first road cross snake for you, Matos, no? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> and it's like, what, 13 degrees? Even yeah. colder than yesterday. It can. Wow. That's amazing. Wow. Well, we just found a second uh, cat snake for this trip. So uh, we are going to release the first one. We will release the snake back at the same spot where we found it. Uh, there is some party just uh, in the background. Now, now they stopped the music. Um, so uh, some people are having fun. We are also having fun road cruising, 13 degrees, it's amazing. <laughs> and we still are finding some snakes, 
and this one is going to go back to its home to its natural habitat this is the road and uh, we are going to go a little bit more into the bushes you know we want to be sure that no one will drive uh, over the snake so uh, this place here looks like it might be suitable there's some rocks, there are some rocks here so i think we can put the snake here and uh, it will find its way to some shelter it will probably be active for a while still because european cat snake is a nocturnal species and uh, we are so happy that we found this snake thank you so much be careful don't go to the road road <laughs> is a dangerous place and bye bye well this is the end of the second day we are going back to our accommodation and let's see what kind of adventures are uh, waiting for us for tomorrow We added two new species to our snake list. The Esculapian snake grows to about 2 meters and it is one of the largest snakes of Europe. This species usually has light brown or olive brown coloration in adulthood, but melanistic individuals occur too. We were lucky to find a beautiful melanistic individual. The common name of this species refers to the classical god of healing, Greek Asclepius and later Roman Esculapius. The Esculapian snake has been of cultural and historical significance for its role in ancient Greek and Roman mythology. The Balkan whip snake is one of the most common snakes on the western and southern part of the Balkan Peninsula. It is a generalist inhabiting open woodlands, rocky and shrubby areas. These snakes are mostly terrestrial, but can also climb well. They hunt small vertebrates and large insects. As you could see, Balkan whip snakes will defend themselves by biting if caught. Good morning, I am filming this beautiful four-lined snake in its natural habitat, a nice green meadow with some rock walls around. I'm super happy that uh, we found uh, adults and also juveniles of the species, that's really great. So uh, we can show the difference in the coloration. This was one of the biggest targets for me on this trip to find the juvenile four-lined snake and uh, thanks to uh, Michael uh, we got this first one so that's really great and we are going to release it now. Uh, we are very happy that we found this one. It's very different from the adult four-lined snakes so we are very happy that we enjoyed this beautiful juvenile and uh, awesome coloration it has and yeah, now we will just release it back when we found it and I hope it will have a nice life. Uh-huh. Yeah. It does, but I can still get it out from the dense vegetation. Cool. Nice. I'm using it. It has very nice blue scales on the on the belly. Blue scales? I think so, yeah, they're a little bit bluish. Maybe on the light just. But like the the sides of the of its, be, of its belly is a little bit bluish. A little bit bluish, okay, maybe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh geez. That's oh. a proper job with a hook, yeah. So, we are going to release this beautiful green whip snake, we caught. We took a good look at it and we thought that it's a... Oh, there's a snake. Ah. Okay, there was another snake, but it's gone already. Susanna saw a snake, but it's gone, so... Um, Okay, let's let's continue with uh, what we were doing. Say, oh, say it again. 
Oh yeah, so we are going to release this beautiful green whip snake we caught a minute ago. We took a good look at it and it's really beautiful. We thought that it's a melanic grass snake. And you can see it will be really fast. I really love these moments when uh, I'm releasing snakes back to their habitat and especially to the same spot where we found them because of course you want to release them to the area which they know where they can find shelter where they can find food water and they are not stressed so let's see where the snake will go as you can see it's already looking for shelters and of course it's going back to the same spot where it was called before bye bye awesome another four-line snake is going back home this is a darker individual it was right here so i'm going to let it go hi we're going to release this juvenile four-line snake back into nature and uh, we've enjoyed photographing him and uh, hopefully he'll have a nice long life and can get over a meter long <laughs> This four-lined snake is going back to the spot and it will enjoy the beautiful view. It was here in these bushes. So let's see how it goes back. <laughs> so this is the Balkan whip snake, the one which bit me properly when I was catching it. I don't blame it at all, you know. The snake was thinking that I'm a predator and I can hurt it. So, uh, you know, snakes are never aggressive. They are only defensive when they feel threatened. So uh, you should never think that, uh, you know, they have evil thoughts and they want to hurt you. I was grabbing the snake in a situation when, uh, you know, it was feeling uh, afraid and threatened, so that's why it was biting me. Uh, now, when I work with the snake, it's absolutely calm, it's really enjoyable. I was just letting the snake slither a little bit and now I can even get some uh, still shots. And it's, it's really, really peaceful. Nothing bad is happening when the snake doesn't feel like it's it's uh, getting eaten or anything like that, it's just fine. Earlier Michael and Matthias spotted the snake uh, here, it was lying on the ground, a little bit moving and now after we took some uh, pictures and made some videos, we will release it exactly to the same spot. It's breeding season now, so snakes are active, they're looking for mate. And this snake really looks like it's trying to find something. Mm -hmm. Or maybe he, maybe he was on the hunt and he was trying to hunt something here previously. No, it's digging. Uh, uh, uh. There's a hole? Oh, maybe, I don't know. Okay. It looks like that. Wow. Okay. That's unexpected. Uh, that's super cool. Maybe actually he knows that and he was looking for the entrance to the hole. Maybe. <laughs> because we were walking around before so maybe the entrance was covered a little bit so it took him some time until he found that that exact uh, spot. <laughs> but yeah. There was a hole for a <laughs> snake like this? <laughs> Big enough? That's really, That's really unexpected. <laughs> unexpected, yes. Okay. It's just disappearing. Wow. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> He's gone. Wow. 
No way. That's amazing. Okay, I was surprised that he was not going into that hole. Yeah. But obviously... There's a big hole right here. Yeah. But... Uh, obviously he knows a better spot where to hide. This one is just enough. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Snake release. So that was cool. <laughs> we are back at the same spot where we uh, caught the Balkan whip snake. Uh, it was a good cooperation with David. He saw the snake here let's say maybe heard it first and then he saw it here and I was waiting on the other side of the stone wall and uh, the snake came out just here it was one of these rocks and the rest you already saw it was biting me but uh, it's understandable uh, it's a beautiful snake I'm happy that we we caught it and uh, we could get some footage and now it's time to go back I will release him a little bit here so you can still see how it moves and I'm almost sure that it's gonna go back to the place which it knows. As you can see the day is ending, it's uh, getting colder so the snakes are not so fast now but that's good for filming because in the middle of the day they are too fast and Balkan mm -hmm. whip snake is back home. Cool. Very cool. Okay, we have to go to another location now because we have more snakes to release. We are road cruising also uh, during the day in the afternoon on this road. Uh, it's quite busy road as you can see. And uh, we found this beautiful little snake. Uh, it's Zamenis Situla. And now we will release it a little bit more uh, far in the vegetation, in those rocks, uh, because it's much safer than on the road. Let's go. Yeah, I think maybe here. I think this, this spot could be safe for the snake. So let's go. It's so tiny. Yeah, it's really tiny. It's really small. <laughs> and it just disappears there. Wow. Okay, uh, so it's time to release the western whip snake which we caught in this bush. Let's Ta see how fast it will go into the bush. Yeah. Oh, it's reversing. Oh, oh yeah. it's still fast. Catch it, catch it, catch it. It's find one. It's a big one. Okay, okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What is it? What is it? Oh, Another one. Wow. Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, we, ju we just released one. Oh, we just it's released one and we like caught another. We just released the baby and this is another adult. Uh, wow. wow. The third Situla yeah. of the trip. Third Situla of the trip. That's amazing. And it's third a live longer. one. Wow. The yeah. Previous one. <laughs> so that's a cool <laughs> dude. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> guys. Yeah. And I even wore my matching really? shirt. <laughs> I'm not. Oh. I'm not now. Wow. I should. This is yeah, amazing. You should. Wow. <laughs> Wow, this is even bigger, I think, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yes. third pull out the trip. <laughs> what do you think, David? I think this one is really just spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> and it has like cool. a reddish background. And I got yeah, to see it belly. with everybody at, all together. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's good that we are all... How come with here? these we say, is that a snake? And we all look at each other and say, that's a snake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was on the, on the side of the road yeah, almost. Half so. of it was sticking out. Wow. We were just cool. not sure if it's Situla or Telescopus. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Unexpected <laughs> thing. Really unexpected. We are basically driving uh, to this place to release the first adult leopard snake we found. <laughs> and here we have a boneless one. That's amazing. Wow. This is so cool. So. Hello, we are gonna release the cat snake from previous night. This one. It was my first road cruised snake and it's really awesome. It has beautiful eyes. And uh, now we are gonna release it on his spot where we found him. And as you can see, again, this road is quite busy. 
snake is moving here and the car just passed by so uh, we hope that this cat snake is going to do yeah exactly the thing which is doing right now it is nicely hiding in the rocks we are back at the same spot where we found this beautiful leopard snake our first adult leopard snake in the wild in our lives and um, we had really great time during filming it uh, for me it was interesting to see that uh, these snakes climb quite quite well and they like to stay on the bushes and uh, basically when the snake was on the ground it was on the move uh, most of the time trying to go somewhere uh, under the rocks or in the bush but uh, when it was up it was super calm and uh, uh, I was able to get some uh, nice footage when we found the snake it was just stretched in this place uh, on the road and it was facing uh, that direction so I will just let it slither and we will see if it will go that way I think uh, it's very probable. This is not actually the time when the, they are mostly active. Uh, this species is known to be active uh, mostly during late afternoon when it's hot at night. Um, so I think now it's time when uh, they are going to hide. So that's what the snake is doing. It's going into the vegetation and it will probably come out again uh, later today if we were driving road cruising and the snake was here not on the road we would have a big chance of missing it okay there he goes. <laughs> yes. We've arrived at the area where we found this snake. In fact, the exact spot where we found the snake last night. And uh, I came all the way from America to be with Matei and Susanna to find this snake. And here we are in Croatia on Kirk Island. And it's uh, just a beautiful, beautiful place. And the snake is gonna go back home. So we'll release him here. There he goes. They're quite safe in those briars. We are going to move to another location. We will still try to find the Nosehorn Viper here on Kirk Island. And then later today, we move to another island. Do you remember the name of it? Cress. 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 Yes. Oh. Cress Island. Okay. I'm stressed, so it's Cress. <laughs> stressed Island. <laughs> came to another location, it's a new one for us, but the target is still the same, Nosehorn Viper. Uh, weather is a little bit worse than yesterday, it's not so sunny, uh, it's around 17 degrees, so we think snakes are not basking right now, but ca they can definitely be on the move, or maybe we can find something under the rock. I just found a Nosehorn Viper! <laughs> I just flipped this stone and she was lying there and I called Michael to catch it. Awesome. Wow, we made it, we made it guys, cool. Just when we were talking about it and you were saying that at least the juvenile maybe. On your eye! On your taxi they have another one? Are you kidding me? They can run pretty fast. I can't. A ty drž hlavně! Nufy, běž tam! To nevadí, ona se taky nehýbala, ta druhá. You have it? Uh, Amazing, you flipped I another one. <laughs> Are you kidding? Uh, <laughs> that was a, 
Very cool moment. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, we got all of It's all orange. I just flipped the first one and in the same moment. It's beautiful. Kuba started we to scream. Then he's got another <laughs> one. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm going to help you. Please. Double ammo dice. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh my God. That was a pretty cool moment. I don't want to lose it, so I put it yes. into the bag. Mirko has the second one. You can, can go outside and put I it up. I will with it. All the way up. <laughs> That's yeah. cool. Okay. What a moment. Yeah. Two, you job. You found it. Two baby. Wow. North Horn Viper. I so much hope In one to moment. <laughs> so I was just <laughs> telling Michael, okay, I think we can flip a baby here. And I flipped the stone and it was there. Just like that. And then we were very happy and we heard Kate screaming. That's because, because there was another one. <laughs> cool. Amazing. So what do you think, Matos? I'm so happy. <laughs> it's beautiful. Cool. Matos, I'll give you a little bit of trim. Yeah. Our last day on Kirk Island and we got very lucky. We found not one but two nose horn vipers. Their coloration gives them a great camouflage in the rocky habitat. This species is reputed to be one of the most dangerous of the European vipers due to its large size, long fangs and high venom toxicity. However, the small size of these juveniles makes it easier for us to handle them. We had just enough time to get some footage and photos and now we need to catch a ferry to Tres Island. It is great that we managed to find the main target species already on Kirk Island as some of our young friends need to travel home soon and today was their last chance to see the nose horn viper. We still plan to visit a great location for this species at the end of our trip and hopefully we will find an adult individual there. Well, now it's time to go to Ceres Island. So uh, we will release the snake here close to the stone wall because a rain is coming and it's getting colder so I'll try to guide like this baby viper there to the hole. So it's going inside. The hole is just big enough. It's still a baby. Hopefully it will be safe and it will grow to a nice adult size. We are really happy that we found this little cute viper. And after filming it, it's time to release it back. David, it was really nice to meet you. It was a pleasure you. to meet you too. You're a nice guy. Thank you. You're very smart. You're going to do well. You are also. Very smart. Yeah. Hello, thank you. Ahoj. Pozdravuj. Pozdravuj. Najdi si tam nejaké bezpečné místečko. Ahoj. 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 Well, today was a weird day. Uh, basically, the whole day was raining. So, uh, of course, uh, we didn't 
find any snake but uh, that was expected but the weather forecast for uh, next two days uh, is better so we hope that tomorrow we can start uh, to look for the eastern Montpellier snake today the weather is much better it's sunny but the wind is quite strong so it's also not the best but we are trying we are on the location Ah, Balkan whip snake. Ah, Balkan whip snake. In a human cat like yes. reaction. Yes, nice. That was fast. Yeah. Balkan whip snake. That's a yeah. praying mantis. Wow. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't bite, please. I'm it's, sorry. He's before shedding. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. So, this is the third That's Balkan great. whip snake we saw. At least one Today? we yeah. can see yeah. uh, close by. Yeah. Michael nicely reacted very fast. Yeah. Um, but it's not the Montpellier snake, so no, we will need to continue. Probably, yeah, but snakes are active, so yes. maybe we will be lucky. Snakes are out. So, cool. Yeah, I will just release him back. Yeah, just release him. Bye bye. Nice, they are fast. Snake, snake, snake. I saw only quick movement. Okay. Comes out. Somewhere under the tree. Uh, oh, here it is. You, oh, it got it. Going. Got it. I got it. it. It's a Marapolo. It's a Marapolo. Yes. <laughs> ah, and I was ah, filming, Michael. I have the really? whole, I have the whole ah. thing on the camera. Cool. I was just we filming. It. Wow. And we have it, <laughs> Eastern Montpellier snake. Good job, Michael. You are super quick. <laughs> Absolutely Thank you. awesome. It bit me though, it so bites. be careful. Careful, yeah. David. It's venomous, so don't forget it, it has to be things. careful. I hope I it didn't eliminate me. So what do you oh. think about this species? <laughs> God, he's cool. Yeah, there is no snake like this in Europe. Nice. Nice one. Wow, uh-huh. Okay, cool. Nice, good spot. Surprising. Mm -hmm. Ah, she's hey. she's playing that. Oh yeah. She's playing that. Check. <laughs> Opening the mouth. Ah, I can smell. That's cool. It's smelling nicely. Uh, nicely. <laughs> <laughs> so here in the Balkan Peninsula, grass snakes have different coloration that uh, in the Czech Republic. This one has nice spots. Also the, the yellow color, which is typical for this species behind the head, is basically not there. The snake is just uh, gray and uh, it was nicely showing us uh, the defensive behavior called thanatosis, which was cool. Opening the mouth, flattening the head and you can see the coloration of the belly, also very nice. Yeah, very cool snake and a little bit surprising. Just a little small water hole and it's enough for the grass snake to be here. They like water, otherwise this habitat is very open. And you can see, if I if you touch it a little bit, Aww. snake stays like this and it starts to open its mouth a little bit. It smells, there's a secretion from the cloaca, which it's uh, it's putting out of course you can't smell it through the camera <laughs> but we can Luckily. we can certainly smell it and look the snake just Aww, plays so that cute. and it hopes that we will not hurt it we will not of course but uh, if it was a different predator it might be tricked it might think like oh this is dead this is smelly we found the eastern Montpellier snake during our last day on Tres Island. It is a medium-sized individual. This species can grow longer than 1.5 meters. Eastern Montpellier snakes are very fast and shy. They can detect danger from tens of meters away thanks to their large eyes. 
Bites mostly occur only when people handle these animals, and the symptoms are usually mild, like swelling of the bitten limb. This species has grooved rare fangs, which deliver venom to prey items such as lizards, small mammals, birds, or other snakes. There was no time to film any grass snakes found on Kirk Island, so we are happy that we found this beautiful individual here on Tres Island. Grass snakes usually live near water, where they hunt amphibians, fish and other small vertebrates. There is a high color variability within the species across its range. This individual is one of the most beautiful grass snakes we have ever seen. We need to go to catch the ferry to the mainland, so we are in a hurry a little bit. We will just release snake back. This is a grass snake, beautiful one. It was here next to the waterhole and he's coming back home. Bye bye. I'm releasing the Eastern Montpelier snake. This is the general area where we found it. It's nicely calm now and they live close to these bushes and rock walls. I'm sure he will be super happy here and he will just go quickly to hide. Thank you very much. Awesome. It was great to find this target species here and now we continue. Good morning. This is the third and last location on our Croatia trip and guess what's our target species here? Well, it's the Nosehorn Viper. Uh, we were lucky and we saw two uh, juveniles on Kirk Island, but we still want to show our friend David a big, nice adult individual. Good job, Kuba! It's huge! Kuba is the guy. His nice first job. ever caught nose on viper. Really? Oh, cool. Yeah, Congress. this is his first one. Congress. Beautiful. And it's amazing. That's awesome, yeah. No, it's really a beautiful and, yeah, big one. Yeah, it's a big one. Nice reddish tail. <gasps> yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> we are not the only ones who, who are looking, looking for things. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I'm David. Yeah. I like your head. Oh. <laughs> Banded rock rattlesnake. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that is a just absolute yeah. gorgeous that's, that's, that's a big individual. I'm so excited. Yeah. That, <laughs> the babies were cute and wonderful, uh -huh. but a big adult is just a find of a lifetime. It's we just found amazing. Babies on Kirk. Oh, in Kirk Island? Goodness yeah. gracious. Two yeah. babies. Wow. Uh, this is a wow, big wow, one. Wow. Yeah. Good job. Good nice. job. Awesome. You're finally yes. my brother. <laughs> Thank you. You are now the, the, the hero. Yeah. The hero yeah. today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, another, another one. one. Good job. Always uh, More good, dark. good to meet a uh, skilled herpetologist <laughs> who know the area. Jürgen comes here every year. This is only our second time to this location. So he knows the place better. Got another beautiful individual, another huge one. And the paparazzis are paparazzis ready. are ready. <laughs> On this trip, we already saw a melanistic, very interesting uh, Esculapian snake, and here we see a normal, typical coloration yeah. of Esculapian snake. Susanna saw it just moving here on the rocks, going into vegetation. It's a beautiful snake. Yeah. Really nice one. Same color like we know from the yeah. Czech Republic. Very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, we have to show it to David. Yes. Definitely. We will. We haven't seen one like this so far. Dobry. Good, good, good. 
Good catch. <laughs> and it's beautiful color. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> nice. This is a beautiful color. I love this color. Can you hold it? That's fine. You hold it nicely. Oh, she was biting. Don't. Drž ji hlavně takhle, no, 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 takhle, jo. Good, good, good. Tak musí wanna... drž klidně pevněji, ale ne přímo za hlavu, ona pak nebude tak naštvaná. Oh, okay, okay. Good, guys! Woo! Another fat sausage. Yeah, fat sausage. Yeah, Kuba spotted another one. No, it's a big one and gray, uh, grayish, brownish. Yeah, it had a, uh, it have a uh, brownish types. Oh, look at this, David. Oh wow! Look at you this. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, a brown one. A yeah. brown one. Wow! <laughs> Whoa, Kuba, you are the boss. <laughs> cool, nice way. And she's beautiful. Yeah. Look really at the tail. Too. The tail is nice. just red. Very nice. It is great that. We were so lucky on our first morning here and we found three beautiful nosehorn vipers. So uh, the rest of our time here at this location we can spend by uh, working with these snakes and getting a nice footage. Each of the individuals is a little bit different so we want to get some footage of all of them and these things are super calm as you can see uh, they are not uh, very defensive they are just slithering and uh, we sometimes use the head uh, we cover them with the head so they can um, stay on one place for a while which is necessary if you want to film some details of the head of, or scales so um, in general it is really really cool and enjoyable this one as you can see wants to go into the bushes uh, so we can get some movement here the best light for filming is uh, early in the morning so we came here just after sunrise i was just flying with the drone in this location it looks really beautiful from above the coast the rocks it's really cool and now um, Susanna will catch the drone because we have what we need it. Nice. <laughs> Matos just spotted another viper. It's down there in the rock crevice or rock, I don't know how to call it. Um, Is there a hole? No, yeah, I don't yeah, think there's a hole. Her, I so can just go, touch uh -huh. it like that. Tam zašprecla ruka. You know, I'm not used to use gloves so much, but yeah, we made it. Nice. Cool. Okay. Nice. Thank you for assistance, <laughs> Matos. Yeah, awesome. Wow. wow. This is dark one. A very dark one. Red tail again. Individual number four <laughs> on this location, and we were just uh, walking back after filming three other individuals. <laughs> That's so cool, and also a big one. Wow! All four we saw here are big ones. Oh, <laughs> bite! Of course, the snake is now Angry scared a little bit because we caught it. But I'm gonna be gentle, doing slow movements. It's hissing a little bit. These first moments after the catch are usually the most dangerous because the snake is still defensive you know but after a few minutes it will realize that nothing bad is happening to it so it will calm down we spent a beautiful afternoon and our last morning in croatia by filming the nose horn vipers we found each individual has a slight variation in color and our goal is to document this amazing diversity within one species. Nosehorn vipers usually grow to a length of 50 to 70 centimeters and all four individuals are large, at least 70 centimeters long in our opinion. 
This viper species is quite fast and easily climbs on rocks, bushes and even the lower branches of trees. The area where the rocky beach meets the forest is a perfect place for basking for these snakes. The nearby forest is full of small vertebrates which are food for nose horn vipers. Filming snakes in their natural habitat is something we really love and there is nothing better than finishing the journey by working with our main target species. Our friend David is also very happy to be part of this trip. One absolutely gorgeous snake. It's just fantastic. So we're going to release it in the same spot where it was found. Let's see what he does. To see them in the bushes with that camouflage is just its an amazing feat to be able to find them, let alone catch them. <laughs> so. Yes. So you can go. I think she's uh, probably enjoying a little bit of basking yeah, in the sun. Yeah, I think so. But uh, yeah, there I she think goes. this yeah. is more safe safer inside the bushes. Inside the bushes. There she goes. There she goes. Right. There. Yeah. yeah, goes right there into the dense bush. Yeah. Awesome. Really great. Great. What an experience. <laughs> I'm so grateful. So thank you. This is the spot where Cuba caught this amazing brown nose horn viper is one of four we were able to catch here and i'm going to release it now that was the one which was deep in the bushes right yes oh nice you can see and kuba was jumping mm -hmm. there to catch it they don't have troubles with climbing as no. you can see sometimes you can uh, even uh, really observe them while they are on the branches and yeah it stopped there and it's, invisible. it's invisible that's amazing it's absolutely super well camouflaged there i don't know if it's visible there on the gopro the head is somewhere here wow that's super cool yeah, I yeah. Like that. she's back yeah cool <laughs> it's amazing amazing snake we are very happy that we found it here and I will just put it exactly back. It was just at this spot uh -huh. in the yeah. stone wall. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jürgen saw the tail and with the teamwork we just caught it here. So I'm just, just go back. back. Thank you, bye bye. Amazing. This was amazing. Yeah, exactly like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> we saw it like that. That's cool. <laughs> amazing snake. This is the last nose horn viper, the biggest target species for the trip we found on this location, beautiful individual. It was here in this crack and uh, we managed to take it out and uh, I will release it into the bushes because of course we don't want uh, people who walk on the beach to find the snake. So come to see how it glides into the shelter. Thank you very much, it was amazing. And maybe see you next time. We hope that we managed to show you that Europe is home to some very interesting snake species. Our trip was a great success and we are coming back home with treasured memories. The next trip is already in the planning process, so stay tuned to our YouTube channel. We will soon be on the trail of another snake.
you for watching our video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Or if you want to support us more, you can even become a member of our YouTube channel. You can also buy our merchandise. Uh, link to our store is under the video in the description. Thank you!